Which, if you're interested in all the streams we do, and you want to check out more when I'm not streaming, we do have a YouTube channel that uh, has all the archived streams. If you go to my profile page and click on it there, um, you'll, it'll take you over to my YouTube channel. Um, I use the YouTube channel to do uh, full Let's Plays of video games in uh, uh, full 1080p, although since I've started streaming, I've kind of backed off on that a little bit. Uh, still planning on doing that. Um, if you guys are interested in the cool 1080p streams, no, just uh, or 1080p let's plays, just not as much as I did before. Um, I'm really enjoying. I'm enjoying the immediate feedback of being able to do Twitch stuff, um, and it's. I think it's a lot more fun to be able to to have a conversation with more than myself or more than one person as I play. So I'm really liking Twitch over doing let's plays. However, my foundation. Um, in streaming is definitely in Let's Plays. Ooh, there's a treasure goblin hiding up there. So I will definitely continue to do Let's Plays. Um, and you can check those out on the YouTube channel. Uh, let's see, I'm going to pause really quick here. It looks like we got a couple new followers here. Hey, I want to give shout-outs to Della Page and Cy Cyanide. There we go, I figured it out. Um, we got two new followers, Cyanide and Della Page here. Uh, thanks so much, guys, for uh, joining us. Glad to have you as followers. I really hope you guys like what you see. And uh, I uh, hope we keep putting out fun stuff for you to check out here in the future, which is the, uh, which is the, uh, the plan. <laughs> um, just to give you guys kind of a heads up on what's going to be going on here in the future, um, I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. And Dark Souls Scholar of the First Sin is coming out on Tuesday next week. Um, so we have a lot of plans for Scholar of the First Sin. I'm actually planning on doing a bunch of uh, marathon Let's Plays throughout the week uh, with Dark Souls Scholar or Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. So if you guys are fans of Dark Souls and you guys are fans of me, uh, definitely make sure... Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, I can't see it. It's on the... No, it's right there. Oh, Treasure Goblin, come back. Um, so if you guys are fans of Dark Souls, definitely make sure to check that out next week. Because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Dark Souls until my eyes bleed. <laughs> I mean, there's there, uh, there's no other way to put it. We're gonna this is going to become a Dark Souls channel for at least a week after that game comes out. So uh, if that if that kind of stuff interests you guys, definitely make sure to check this out next week. Um, let's see. Want to give a shout out to. Uh, all for fun and love here in the chat. Thanks for joining us. Glad for ch uh, checking in with us in the chat. Glad to have you. Hope you're enjoying what you see here. Uh, oh my god. I uh, probably shouldn't be standing in this group here, but uh, I'm not taking much damage, so... I feel I feel comfortable standing in that group and causing damage here. Um, we're in the middle of our... Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> We're in the middle of our Virgin Hardcore run-through here in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. We're currently in the third act. We're uh, running down into the uh, the hold of Bastion's Keep uh, to the larder to take out a uh, big fat demon by the name of Gom. Um, let's see, this is a hardcore run-through. For those of you who don't know what hardcore is, uh, hardcore refers to a game mode where your character only has one life, and once you die, you lose that character and all the progress that your character has made, uh, which is, I think, pretty high, uh, pretty cool and pretty high streaks, or high streaks, high stakes for a stream, because death can come at any time, and uh, we really don't know what's going to happen here. So, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying, and hope you guys uh, decide to stick around and hang out for more. Right, pool of Reflection. I love those pools. I love that addition to the game. There are shrines that you can get in the game that, uh, among other properties you can get from them, increase your experience gain. Uh, but those experience pools actually give you a permanent um, increase to your experience gain. And I say permanent, it lasts for a certain amount of time, but it basically gives you 1.5 times experience until you reach a certain level. Uh, which is a very cool addition to the game, I think. Um, it kind of incentivizes you to keep on going and keep getting, uh, uh, keep leveling your characters. Hey, thanks for checking in, Della Page. Sorry to see you go, but uh, definitely fun to have you. Thanks to thanks for following us, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Uh, let's see, we're doing a small event right here. 
Uh, there was another cool thing about this game. Uh, Diablo 1 and 2 only had the uh, the basic like game mode or the basic quests that you could do, and there weren't really any optional quests. Uh, whereas this game has a bunch of random optional quests that you can find throughout the legendary pants. Uh, this game has a lot of optional quests you can find that give you uh, tons of experience and. Uh, Kind of, it adds a lot to the game because it adds a lot of uh, replayability because you don't run into all of them throughout the entire playthrough. Hey, we hit level 50, badass. Um, so if you keep playing through, you run into different runs, ones and you run into more of them, which ends up being pretty cool overall. All right, let's see. So we've hit level 50, um, which has given us a new passive, which is Sharpshooter, gain 4%. Critical hit chance every second. This bonus is reset one second after you successfully critically hit. That is an important goddamn skill right there, especially late game once we hit level 70. So we're going to equip that right now and keep it forever. Uh, let's see. We also got some legendary pants, so let's identify them. I can already tell it's pox bolts. Hammer jammers. I was completely wrong. Oh, they gave us MC hammer pants. That's badass. Um... Well, slightly better than the item we have right now. It lowers our defense drastically, so we're not actually going to equip that there. Um, defense, in, defense and regeneration in a hardcore game like this is the name of the game. Um, I, don't, I don't want to... I basically don't want to put myself in a position where I'm any more of a glass cannon than I already am. So... Um, while increasing my attack is very important for this character's playstyle, um, increasing defense is the name of the game, and I'm probably I'm going to uh, I'm going to aim for oh shit I'm stuck oh shit I'm stuck oh that was fast I'm gonna aim for increasing my defense over everything else uh, just to kind of increase my survivability because I don't I don't want the stream to end I don't want to die it's gonna happen it's gonna be epic when it does but. Uh, I'm not aiming to make the game any more difficult than I've already set it up by playing a fucking hardcore game on, the, on a hard difficulty mode, so... You know. Man, this guy's taking some fucking damage here, too. Let's drop a rain of arrows while we uh, get our hatred back up here. Yeah, burn him down. Oh, we got him, badass. And let's see... Rare belts, not very good. Oh, hey, we're on to a boss fight here. Uh, so. Here's hoping I'm good for it. Oh man, I'm only on the depths level 2. Crap. That was a long-ass level. I had totally had expected to be at the boss by now. Annoying. Whatever, we're still, uh... As long as we keep gaining experience here, I'm not too worried. That was kind of a fail. I thought I thought I was already at the boss. I was like, "Yay, badass!" <laughs> Need more time. Wah wah! Oh no, the explodey guys! No, keep them away! I don't want to be exploded on. This bad. <laughs> and we are having. We're actually having a pretty. I don't want to say easy time of it because I'm definitely I'm definitely playing a, a sick hit and run game right now with this demon hunter. Um, I could definitely be doing much worse, but uh, we're definitely not having as much trouble as I expected to have. Like I think I've really adapted myself to this playstyle well enough to be able to safely enter any encounter. Uh, although there is always that you know high risk going on here. Oh, jeez, these are... This is tough. Jump out of the way there. Jump out of the way again, and hit him with the rapid fire. Yeah, burn him down real quick. Let's see. Drop a couple sentries there. Do the shoot bangs here. Badass. Alright, well, hopefully we're close to the end of the level here. Let's see. Uh, hey, want to give a shout out to All for Fun and Love again. Uh, All for Fun and Love has followed us here on Twitch. Thanks a bunch, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, 
I hope we uh, don't disappoint you with garbage content at any point in the future. Har har har. So thanks a ton, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the follow. Oh man, just almost yanked my headset off my entire head. That would have been painful. I hate that. I love I love wired headsets over wireless, just because you get kind of like a oh Jesus, that's uh oh I'm trapped in here. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, that could have been dire. Man, that Waller skill is uh trouble. <laughs> Anyways, as I was talking about the wi uh, wired headsets, I love wired headsets. I just, I hate the wire part of it. Um, it's not too bad when you're playing a game and you're more or less sitting still the entire time, but uh, I run pretty frequently. Uh, I've hurt my knee recently, so I haven't been running in a while, but I will usually do running two to four times a week, uh, five, six mile runs, something like that. And uh, the worst is when you're running and you get your... Uh, you get your uh, your uh, headset wire caught on like your hand as you're running, and then you just kind of yank it super hard on your head. That sucks. Man, I'll be happy to get rid of the. He's got me trapped here with this fucking wall. Here, we'll drop sentry. So even if he walls me out, uh, there we go. He's dead now. So no harm, no foul. Oh, man. Oh, did we miss a treasure goblin? No, that's just an explosion of gold. Hey, damage taken reduced by 25. That'll help us, especially if we can keep that buff up when we get to the boss here. Which, hopefully, the entrance should be somewhere around the corner here, but... What a labyrinthian maze I've had to run through here. Yeah, you can't handle this. Good grenade skills. Fun game, fun game. Man, this shit just keeps going and going. This is, this is, um... I mentioned that there are a couple slow points in, uh... This act here, because I was talking about which acts I like over which other acts. Um, and this is definitely one of the slower points, just because of this, uh... It's kind, it's kind of a boring, uh, uh, map tile set, I guess you want to call it. I don't know what to call it. It's kind of a boring aesthetic, and it lasts kind of forever. Uh, the good news is, as soon as we get out of here, we go it turns it back up to 11, and it goes nuts, so, uh... You guys can bear with the, uh, the boring level design for this part here. Uh, we will eventually get back to some hype shit. Also, the boss at the end of this thing is pretty cool. So, you know, there's there's a decent payoff at the end of all this fucking running around. Oh, jeez, boss fight, or, or elite fight, or not elite, uh, champion. The gold ones are champion, the blue ones are elites. All those damage fields are going to fucking ruin me if I'm not careful. <laughs> but I need to keep running around. All right. Got our discipline building up again. Vault out of those damage fields. There we go. Oh man, we vaulted away from a uh, a lick grab. Because I can't think of a better way to call that. These guys use their tongues like Resident Evil 2 lickers, except instead of just attacking you with it, they use it to pull themselves to you, which is kind of cool. Cool for an enemy to have something like that. Ooh, that, uh. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Do we want to switch to that? My regen goes down. Oh no, my regen goes way too far down. Where was my. What did I have equipped? Was it Barbaric Stem? No, Prey Rain. That's what it was, right? Uh, no, 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 what am I doing? That's it. I want to keep the regen and the and the defense up. That's the I'm most important thing. <laughs> I have a shield suddenly. Oh, yeah, 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 I know why I have a shield. It's one of the, the items I have to put. One of the legendaries. 
Let's see, let's see. Oh, hey, I want to say...